By now, you've probably heard my magic wand story. It's a brand that's been part of my personal journey for more than 20 years. But no matter how many times I sing magic wands praises, I'll never be able to fully capture the story of this incredible brand. Well, now journalist and author Kate Sloan just completed a limited audio series documenting the history and impact that Magic Wand has created over the last 56 years. It's called Making Magic. And the series chronicles Magic Wand's incredible brand story through interviews with nearly 40 experts, performers, business owners, educators, and fans. So I got a sneak preview of the series. And what I loved is that Kate weaves together snippets from all their interviews into this amazing story arc. She covers Magic Wand's journey from a appliance store massager to its legendary influence on culture and sexual independence. And it's all just fascinating. The first episodes of Making Magic are available now at makingmagicseries.com or on all popular podcast platforms. Just search for Making Magic or visit makingmagicseries.com today. Hey, everyone. Thanks for listening to the show. And you're going to love this one because we are talking about everyone's favorite topic, oral sex. I know you love it and you want to be better at it and you want to understand it. So in this show, I'm giving you what you want from how to give to how to get to the tips you need to blow your partner's mind, men and women. I'm answering your emails on all things oral to help you get better at going down. So thanks everyone for listening. Enjoy the show. into his eyes. They're the eyes of a man obsessed by sex. Eyes that mock our sacred institutions. Bedroom eyes, they call them in a bygone day. Hey, Emily, you got a boyfriend? Because my man E here, he just got his heart broken. He thinks you're kind of cute. A girl's got to have her standards. Oh, my. Do women know about shrinkage? Isn't it common knowledge? What do you mean, like laundry? It shrinks? Can we not talk about sex so much? Are you kidding me? Oh, my God, I feel so good. Being bad feels pretty good. You know, Emily's not the kind of girl you just play with. relationships and everything in between for more information go to sexwithemily.com so you can listen to all of our podcasts and sign up for our mailing list have you not done that yet really you really should because our mailing lists are they favorite we send out one a week i'm talking like this like <laughs> um we send out you know once a week we don't spam you or anything but people really like them and we send you good interesting information if you miss the shows we do two a week we wrap them up in there or recent blog posts so check that out and um videos all that fun stuff and i'm here with menace Hello. Hello, darling. I am excited to be here with you. I, I swear. I swear. <laughs> I swear I actually really, really you like me today. Yeah. Now you like me a lot lately because we don't see each other as much. <laughs> yeah. We used to do a show five days a week. And I was like, oh, mm, yeah. But too much. To see you. I know. This show's about oral sex. I know. No one's ever an expert on it. I mean, except for you, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> now, I have always have stuff to learn. I really yeah. do. I think that we are always learning. I, we are always, always learning new tips and tricks. Mm. I remember reading a book once. I just was talking. Was this on a show? I don't know if it's on this show. Mm. But I gave this. No, it was, on, it was on an interview, actually. So it was an interview that someone was doing on the phone. But I remember just like we all tend to do the same things sexually over and over again. Like this is how I give a blowjob. This is how I give a hand job. This is how I kiss. But I was reading a book early on in the show when I started doing the show about oral. It was all about oral sex, blowjobs. And it said to do something. I wish I could remember what the exact move was. It was like something with my tongue and my hand. It was like mixing it all together. And I was about to go give a blowjob, funny enough, that night to my boyfriend. And I went to his house and I tried this little trick. Like I'd been giving him blowjobs for six months and he was pleased. He never complained. You know, he liked him. Yeah. But I did this little trick and and he was like, and he came and he was like, what the the hell did you just do? Who have you been hanging out with? No, (laughs) no, but I like did this little trick. It was like a little tongue wiggle pull thing. And I'm just Mm -hmm. like, you know what? You can always become better at everything in life. So don't just stop, you know, with your oral sex limitations. Yeah. I want to go back to that, but what's going on with you? Are are you... Traveling sexing. anywhere? Um, going I'm, anywhere? Gosh, doing I'm going, oh, I'm going to um, New York in a few weeks to see you too. My friend's putting on a concert what? there backstage. Sweet. I know. It's um, going to be awesome. She works for Salesforce.com Foundation and they're doing a... A U2 thing? A U2 thing. And so I said, I'm going. That's backstage. awesome. I know. Awesome. It'll be really fun. So that'll be like a fun trip. I'll do a little bit of work there. And a little All bit right. of fun. And I should plan more trips this summer. Maybe Palm Springs. I kind of like Palm Springs. It's Palm easy. Palm Springs is great. It's like two hours away. You're mm-hmm. in, it's like a totally different place. You're in it's the in desert. The, yeah. It's, 
That's Good super times. fun. I'm going to New York too, but in August. Oh. oh, I'm going to Boston first. And then I'm going to New York. And then in September, I'm going to... Where am I going? Haiti, the Grand wow. Caymans, Jamaica, a cruise Mexico. Yeah. And You're then, going on a cruise? Yeah. A Disney cruise? No. D- this time. Why aren't you going on a Disney cruise? Uh, because... <laughs> I the, just assume that you would of all people. I mean, I love Disney cruises. They're like my favorite. And they're, believe, me, believe it or not, there's a billion adult only sections of the of the I ship. would hope so. I don't want Mickey Mouse showing up when I'm giving my no. boyfriend a spontaneous <laughs> blow job on the deck. Yeah, and on the I mean, deck. you could you could pretty much avoid kids if you want to the entire time. And they that, have, those are the kind of trips I like. Not that I don't yeah, love yeah. kids, but but you know, you, everyone knows if they've been listening to podcasts a long time. I'm a super Disney fan, and I I love it. Okay, I know I'm an adult, but it, it's fun. Hey. But the problem is the only time uh, that I have. Uh, off is matches up with a cruise that I already taken. So this one I'm going on a different one. Good times. I forget what. With your lady? Yeah, with my lady. So That's we're going to go check it out and have some fun, get in uh, some hot weather and get stuff some, like have that. Have some vacation sex. If vacation sex, vacation sex, sex is, is always good and fun. Everyone should do. check it out too because I just wrote a new column for Harper's Bazaar online mm-hmm. and it's about vacation sex and it's coming out soon now it might even be out by the time you guys are all listening to this it's show sweet we talked about this on the last podcast but yeah. i always like to promote it if you are downloading this podcast from oh. itunes please just write a little review the podcast is free it costs emily a lot of money to put together uh time if, and time spent there's employees say hello everyone in the room yes this is say hi, hi. Lori intern yeah. <laughs> amazing yeah. madison producer amazing so hi. there's hi. like a lot that goes into it so i'm not to guilt trip you or anything but just please just write a review give it five stars because five stars is always it great helps us. and i announced this on the last podcast if you didn't see this uh, or hear this sorry uh i was looking up um all the podcasts and you're like in the top 250, 250 260 that blew in my mind entire itunes I could that's cry. like hundreds of thousands of podcasts out there it's crazy that i couldn't crazy, believe dude. it when you i saw should that have told me i mean you told me no but show. i wanted to say you wanted to share show. i know yeah, that's I mean, to, we never talk surprised. outside the show yeah. but that's probably the best but that's mm-hmm. amazing you guys i just want to thank you for allowing um me to do what i love and make a li- it's really mm-hmm. hard to be like an artist and make mm-hmm. a living and do what you love because i actually i never ever say i don't want to do the show like there's other mm-hmm. things i don't want to do like i don't feel like doing my taxes or i don't feel mm-hmm. like talking to my accountant or i don't mm-hmm. but things in the about the jar i don't want to go to the website it's hard mm-hmm. for me right but yeah. i friggin love doing the show and i love hearing from you all and i just want to thank everyone for like 10 years of supporting the show and it's making great. it a top podcast and thank you menace and we're gonna do a live show so listen up for information coming soon. Mm-hmm. And then uh, getting back to blowjobs because that's what's oh. the most important. Real quick. Yeah. Okay. Where do you think is the craziest place you've given a blowjob? Can you remember? Um, gosh, that is such a good question. Uh, yeah, I know I've given some crazy blowjobs in some crazy weird places that are sort of precarious. I remember at a wedding once, like in the Hamptons. Really? It was like a super fancy outside tents and everything. And we, I was with a boyfriend at the time and we went like not too far off the tent. As the wedding's going on or is it reception? Well, they were already walked down the aisle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was the reception. All the boring stuff is done. And it was like outside mm. and I believe that people walked by and, <gasps> and, and there might have been some kind of wow. embarrassment. They saw you. I know. They saw you. Giving fellatio. I mean, I'm trying you to think floozy. of a place. You know, oh, I know like in my house recently, like visiting my parents in Michigan. Thank God they don't listen. But I remember giving one like on the back porch and then my mom woke up oh. turned lights off. That was embarrassing at this age still. And then also you remember my famous Coachella experience when uh-huh. I would, had sex at Coachella outside. Mm-hmm. Funny enough, that guy from years ago, I haven't talked to him in years, but he lives in LA and we ran into each other. And now we're like, oh, speaking of me, you Menace always says I'm best friends with my exes. Which I am really good friends. Mm-hmm. We're super good friends now. And I'm like, remember that time we banged at Coachella? I yeah, talk about that all the time. Ruled. <sighs> yeah. What's the craziest place you've ever received fellatio? Uh, probably backstage at a concert. I don't know. Nothing too insane. Yeah. We got in car we, roadhead. Yeah. We Not gotta, that safe. We, I don't recommend it. We gotta borrow somebody's private jet and just like. How about my brother's? <laughs> yeah, your brother's jet, just and just kidding, say, "Hey, just we kidding. need it for a second. I know. No, I mean, we'll see. Okay, so. Um, fellatio but first we got a little sex in the news you'll appreciate this because it has mm-hmm. to do with an Apple product okay which yeah that's weird Apple and sex together that's an- interesting isn't that interesting yeah, yeah tell don't. me more please Apple adds feature to iOS 9 that lets you track your sex life 
You'll soon be able to track how active your sex life is using your phone, iPhone, thanks to a forthcoming update. Apple's iOS 9 will let people track when and how often they have sex, as well as letting women log their menstrual cycle. The company has previously come under fire for ignoring the importance of female customers, and this will be redressed when the revamped health kit rolls out in autumn. Isn't iOS 9 already out? Uh, no, I'm on 8 right now. Okay. I don't know. Uh, users were able to track how much water they drink. So it's not like everyone's like becoming like the Fitbit, right? Like mm-hmm. everything's like that. So UV exposure, how long they sit still for. Mine would mm-hmm. be like, you did not sit still once today. Yeah. Um, and they're, as well as their reproductive health, but they didn't provide further details. Um, they will be able to enter details as, as like when they had sex, when they use protection. But I want to know like who's really going to do that. I like the thing, reason why I love the Fitbit. You still have yours on. I lost yeah, mine months I love ago. Mine. Doesn't it ever fall off? I lost two of them. Um, I'm done. I'm no. out. How come? No, you but wear... you have like a small wrist. You probably. No, it just pops off. Really? It pisses no. me off because I loved it. I was like, because mm. the truth is about the Fitbit, if you all know, it, it does. I'm like, oh, I've only done 5,000 mm. steps today. You know, like it makes yeah. me want to do more. But I think this is harder because you got to plug it in. Like, oh, I just had sex. Hold on, honey. Let's write this down. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to write. But then a few weeks in. ago, we had a sex news story about a mattress. Mm-hmm. Were you here when we were talking about mattresses that measure your sex life? There's a mattress that's going to be able to measure how often you've been active, and then it's going to send you text messages and be like, "Hey, you should take your partner on a date tonight because you guys haven't banged in a while. You guys should try the doggy style." Everyone wants to check your goddamn sex life. I think there's a crisis with people's sex lives, apparently. And I'm also kind of pissed about iPhones. Can I just talk about this for a minute? Okay, what's wrong? I think since Steve Jobs died, the iPhone has just gone downhill. Apple products in general. And then we're all true believers and we all love it. Mm-hmm. And everyone buys the iPhone because it's cool and we can iMessage. Mm-hmm. But I think that like the droids, Android, Samsung, they're far superior in a lot of ways. Wow, look at you. I know. You didn't um, even know I knew what Android was, but I do. Yeah, that's cool. You disagree? Uh, Yeah. Okay. I definitely disagree. I, I just think, think it's I think, it sounds good. Okay, and I know, man, I don't mean because to Android not user, like tech with Emily. Yeah, but. but Android users are so hardcore about Android, and I know they get upset with that. And I have an Android, uh, also, and I've worked with tech startups. I, I worked at a startup before I moved to Los Angeles, and every single app is a subpar version of an iPhone app. It just is. But uh, Androids are great. They have amazing options that. Uh, iPhone do not have, so I'll give them that. Okay, yeah, like <laughs> but, like Hegel Cam app, which is not th- on Android yet. I think with the camera wise, the uh, the newest Samsung is actually the best camera I've seen. That's on what the, I've heard on an iPhone. It's all about the camera. Yeah. You're all about your. What is your Instagram at Menace? Just, just Menace M E N A C E. So gotta check out yeah, so Twitter. props on that. But uh, I mean, I went through the apps and the apps are okay, but they okay. Finally, I'm not, like, totally- finally, Android's there with the camera on that phone is. Uh, okay. as equal so as I mean iPhone. I'm not saying there's always like drawbacks everything there's pros mm-hmm. and cons but um, yeah. I did just get the 6 though you'll be happy to know because I dropped the 5 in the toilet did your brother get it for you no my oh. brother <laughs> my brother bought me an iPad once uh huh and Menace like, like did your brother no that's all he's ever bought me <laughs> oh really okay let me think he's bought me dinners mm. trips didn't he get you a laptop your no. brother's amazing I love him dude he got me an iPad it was really I want to really hang sweet. out with him I know. He's in town right now. You can come hang out, but you don't want to. And he loves you too. Dude, how wasted did we get at the Ritz Carlton in San Francisco that night? We were, okay, so this is a quick story. Uh, (laughs) Emily's brother uh, was staying at the Ritz Carlton in San Francisco. And he's like, he was on like some special, her her brother's like a baller. He's like, he's like amazing. So he was on some VIP floor where, uh, they have like a free alcohol. It's like free it's open a floor bar. That's like always open food. All and you bar. can eat. All it, day it was long, crazy. 24/7. I've never seen anything like this before. So we go there and we're just getting hammered, wasted. And there's all these classy people dressed up. And, you know, of course, we, we were not one of them. Yeah. We're in, you know, like, I'm dressed like a bum and I'm in there and we're just laughing so hard in there. And I just couldn't. I'm like, I'm stopping for a second. I'm realizing that everyone is just staring at us because we're just rowdy. And I I love your brother. I know, it's so I, much fun. That's why I want you to come with us tonight. But no crush. Um, I know because I know if I go out with your brother, then I'm just going to be out all night. <laughs> and I have on Friday, uh, the next day, I have a 22-hour day of straight work. That's unhealthy. It is unhealthy, but I have to you do it. You look good, though. Did you lose weight? I've actually been working out every single day for the past month. Are you menace? Yeah. Okay, wait. You've never done that in your life. I mean, I have Not a long time ago. I'm, you look great. I meant Thank to you. say that when you walked in. 
Yeah. I'm, Seriously, I'm really proud of you. Yeah, I have a, I'm, I'm training for a marathon. <laughs> I know. You crazy. have to prepare me for this. The, yeah. You well, it sucks because, you're okay. running? Yeah, I'm running and Every stuff. Every day like, running. Yeah, every day. Every day for the past, like, month. Like, I don't even know. Like, I, I need a moment. Like, I don't even think. I, I just I just really my... want to get back to where I was. I uh, Ten years ago when I met ten you. Years I know ago, you keep yeah, talking yeah. about that. I never thought, I mean. That Ooh, I would I'm do so it. Proud yeah. Of you. But it just sucks because, okay, so. Um, I'm dying I moved, right I can't even speak. I'll, Go ahead. I'll, I'll tell you what happened. I. I remember moved, when you ate McDonald's every day for a month or whatever, or Starbucks yeah. or something, yeah. It was really easy, okay, when I was living in San Francisco and I was doing radio. Um, I didn't really do that many events where I'd be out in public and people would see me. So, you know, whatever. Right. Now I moved to Los Angeles and I'm part He's of- He's famous. A, He's on billboards everywhere. <laughs> I'm part of a, a morning radio show called The Woody Show. Um, you can podcast It's not about it. boners. It's not about boners or sex. So don't download it and think you're going to hear about wieners and boobies. It's not going to happen. But the thing is- uh, it's it's getting a really hardcore fan base and then so i go out all the time and people want to take photos with me and you know how i like to control the photos well i'm not going to say hey let me take the photos or let me look at the photo i'm like oh yeah it's cool we can take a pic and then people take a pic and then put the social media out there and all that stuff and then i look at them like oh my god it looks this so is, bad it looked terrible this is what happens to celebrity this is what happens and then you get anorexic don't get anorexic no i'm not me. getting I'm anorexic kidding, i'm still <laughs> eating what i want to eat look at my instagram i'm still not holding back I'm just but i'm happy. definitely it's healthy for your longevity yeah so i definitely want to just like at least you know do something about it okay and then i actually feel way better so that's cool okay Awesome menace. I'm really proud of you. Thank it really you. Really warms the cockles so, of my heart. Anybody okay, that feels I'm like I'm gonna get to emails right sorry. now. Yeah, we gotta get, get to emails. Us, One second. I know. I know. Yeah. I know. Okay, we'll talk what? about sucking on wieners in a second. No, and but I just want to like talk about inspiring people. If you okay. feel the same way, just get up and do it. Every day, I know it's like hard. There's days that I don't want to get in the gym and do it. I just do it. And you just start off so don't go from zero to a thousand. Right. Just start off with ten like minutes a day. Like Michael minutes. do you remember Michael Moore, the filmmaker? Yeah. He was like he started that whole walking thing. He's mm-hmm. like, just walk for ten minutes and then twenty. Yeah. So I'm just really proud of you because this has been a ten year thing you. we've talked about. So All right, great. let's okay, talk let's get about emails. wieners. God. Okay, everyone, thank you for emailing me. Feedback at sex with and vaginas. And um, vaginas. listen, people, so you can um yeah, feedback at sex with I love hearing from you. And I also love even more when you include your name. Uh, you can we can change your name, but where you are, where you live, and how old you are, and yeah, how you listen is cool too. We just want to know you listen, but really, it's how old you are. Okay, ready? And you're where you live. All right, dear Emily, I came across your website recently, and I listened to a handful of your podcasts while on a long drive. Needless to say, I've fallen in love with your podcast. Anyway, I'm a 24 year old woman, and I'm pretty sure I'm a rarity when I say I love giving blowjobs. The main reason being, I get ridiculously turned on by hearing a guy breathe heavy and or moan, and I'm sure it's somehow subconsciously related to my own ego. I guess I'm just curious if this is normal for women. I mean, I know guys really enjoy hearing women get off, but I've never really heard about it the other way around. Thanks, Emily. Sincerely, B. Um, I think that's really funny because first of all, I think that women do definitely. I love that you're saying this because I've actually been having a debate lately with my friends. This just happened last week where my guy friend was like, I don't think that women do women really like blowjobs. Like they're always saying, I can't wait to have your cock in my mouth or whatever. They text me that he's like, but do they really like it? I'm like, yeah, some women do, some don't, but I think women like it. And then my, my friend who's got all her married friends, she texted them all and they all said, no, only has birthday. I don't like it, blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, I, my, I like it. Like I don't. So I think it's split. I don't think it's a 50. I don't even know what the split is, but what is your perception? Do you think that women like it in your overall, like, do you think that they just do it or they like, they just like, do you think they really enjoy it? Uh, Minus, what do you think? I, th- I I think I agree with you on the 50, 50. Yeah. Yeah. I, think- I wasn't saying, I don't know if it's 50, 50. I want to hear from you guys because I love it. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've I never. I think some just do just to do it though. Like I remember like, remember when Lynette, were you here when Lynette Carolla was on the mm-hmm. show and she was like, I've been with Adam for 20 years. I've never said no. Never yeah. say no to the BJ. And I was like, why would you? It's like a 10 minute thing. It's like, mm-hmm. that's, I always say it's like flowers for women. Um, okay. So B, you're totally fine. You are in the zone. That's great. And you realize the magic and the power of the blood job. I know. And you keep your man happy. You keep him happy. And it's great that you love it because it helps you get good at it. Like everything mm-hmm. in life. Like I think that there's a lot of women who don't like it. 
they might say the taste, they're uncomfortable, but I think a lot of women and men, same with cunnilingus, they feel like they just don't know what they're doing or they're not confident. But the only way you're going to get better is that when you keep doing it and you get the positive moans and the feedback and that totally turned you on. I think that's awesome, B, that it turned you on. So um, I want to be clear, though, it's totally fine for women to enjoy sex as much or if not more than men. So you are not unusual at all, mm-hmm. B. You are my hero. Yeah. Love it. It, uh, it was funny. There was this famous actress, I... Bang. Drawing a blank, oh. but she would say uh, in interviews, "Just keep your man uh, drained and fed, and you're good, and he'll never leave you." Trained. He'll and be fed. like a puppy dog next to you. you we'll have, see about that. Yeah, full yeah. control. Yeah, it's true though. I mean, it's not that hard, and I just they build it up with the blood. Mm-hmm. Well, it takes like ten. I can see sometimes oral sex with women maybe it takes a little longer, but whatever. Mm-hmm. Either way, you should go down. Okay, hey Emily. First and foremost, I wanted you to know how much I love and appreciate your show. You provide an invaluable service, and it's such a pleasure to get insight on sex and relationships from such an intelligent, well-spoken, classy woman. I'm classy. Anyway, on to my question. I love giving oral sex. It's so intimate and sexy, and there are few things as beautiful. There are few things as beautiful as women climaxing while I'm going down on her. But with the last few women I've slept with, it seems like it only goes on for a few minutes before they want to have intercourse. I'm the type who likes taking his time. So it's making me wonder, would they be hurrying things along because, are, are they hurrying things along because they're so turned on or because they aren't enjoying themselves and want me to move along? I'd appreciate your input. Thanks again, Sean. Oh, Sean, I love you. You are my dream man. <laughs> there, I said it. I yes. wish all men had these feelings about oral sex because there's a really complicated thing going on with oral sex because I do believe that a lot of women... There's like different substances. They're like, he doesn't want to be doing it. Maybe I taste weird or smell funky and he doesn't want to be there and it's going to take me a long time. So I'm just going to say, let's just have sex. And I think a lot of women can attest to that. And the best thing that a guy, Sean, if you're into it, the best thing that you can say to a woman, and I'm telling you, I've had guys say this to me and it is like music to my ears when they say, I love doing this and I could be here all night. Because then... When he's going down on me and he's mm-hmm. like, listen, I love this. I want to do this. Lay back, relax, chill. And you're like, oh, it takes all the pressure off. Because we're always thinking, does he want to? We're looking at the clock, 10 mm-hmm. minutes, 15 minutes. Yeah. I mean, not anymore. I'll do this. But, you know, I'm Get- saying like, settle in. Tell me you got some time and you're going to be there. And hopefully she'll relax more, Sean. So I think you got to let him know how much you really want to be there between her legs, pleasing her. Um, I actually never asked you this in the past 10 years. And you've always promoted oral, oral sex. Uh, is it your favorite thing that guys do to you if they know how to do it? Um, is it your all-time favorite? I think it's – yeah, I'd say it's top. Top. Top? How many things then are there? What I mean, is your – Top three. Then what is your top, favorite? I mean, I guess I like intercourse. I like being spanked. No, I oh. like dirty talk. No, I mean, I really have to say oral sex is probably like my one of my top things. Yeah, especially I, for I feel play. it is. You've promoted no, it so you, much. I feel you. I hate to, you know what it is? It's like choosing between like children or something. Like, yeah. like for me, sex is like, can I say oral sex? But yeah, I love some really good warm up with oral sex. If a guy knows how to do it or I, you know, and he's into it. Because that's when I'm going to tell you to come up. That's when I'm going to say, oh, it's cool to have sex because I know you're not into it. It's just like blowjobs. Mm-hmm. You don't want a blowjob from a woman who's like gagging and like rolling her eyes and like. Making, just, it's just so like no pressure to it at all. They're just doing it right. to do it. That is the absolute worst. Right. The number one tip I always give about oral sex across the board for men and for women is to be enthusiastic and to be into it. Mm-hmm. And if you're not, you just got to fake it. You might as well it. not even do Don't it. Don't even though. go there. Don't even try it. Just Don't say it I'm not you. into it. Exactly. And there are plenty. Because then he's just going to go around and say, oh, she gives terrible blowjobs. Right. You might as well not even try that, right? Mm-hmm. So, and, and, but Sean, it could be happening for a number of reasons. Like I said, Pat has nothing to do with you. She could be insecure. She might have trouble relaxing. So you could try to do that. Um, she could be sensitive. There's a lot of women who actually are oversensitive. In fact, women who are very orgasmic, multi orgasmic, tend to be women who actually don't like oral sex or doesn't feel good to them so but i can't imagine the last three women you've been with or the last few that, that that this is the case so it's normal to feel insecure that it's about your oral skill oral sex skills like we all question ourselves when our partners say no to something or turn away that we think it's us but i think that you should just you know go slower every woman's different and ask her what she wants again it's always great to start off slow and just let her know that you are there and you're settling in you're going to Pitch tent, hang out (laughs) for a while. That's all I want. Okay. Hey, Emily and staff ladies. 
That would be everyone here. Um, I've been listening for a while. And uh, I've been listening for a while. And now, you know what? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Emily and Staff Leads. I've been listening for a while now and always find the show entertaining and usually find it instructive. Thanks so much for everything. Each of you do. Um, my wife of 20 years and I have used your valuable information to enhance your sex life and grow even closer. This brings me to my question. A few nights ago, as I was washing the vomit off my genitals, mm -hmm. I realized that my wife might need some help learning to give a blowjob. That happened to my friend once, but I think it was just because she was drunk. She threw up on us. That happens too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she only recently has started trying to learn this skill and apparently mm -hmm. has a fairly active gag reflex. She's open to learning and I want to encourage her. We bought the Tickle is Pickle book you featured on the show and that helped, but she doesn't learn from books. Would any of you, uh, would any of you have a beginner friendly video recommendation towards learning this womanly art? Thanks so much. Have a happy season, holiday season, everyone. Nate from Austin. Okay, Nate, I love this question and I'm gonna get right back to it after I tell you something very important. Okay, Nate, here's the thing. I love this question. We have had some feedback in the past uh, that we don't do a lot of tips for women on how to give a good BJ. I mean, I know we have, but whatever. We have done it a lot. Do you think she's just gagging <laughs> because she's like just going No, I think too that far? women, yeah, she's probably going too far. She sees it in porn. She thinks that that's what men really want. But you don't have to deep throat every time to please him. If you have a sense of gag re reflex, um, here's the thing, is that you can use your hands. You can like put it in your mouth. But like, if as long as you have enough pressure on the penis, you don't have to go all the way back there. Plus, the nerve endings that bring the most pleasure is the tip of the penis, the mm -hmm. frenulum, which is on the underside of the penis. So if you just like, if you you like, um, keep your mouth around the head so that your lips hit the area where the head meets the shaft, suck gently on the tip, and you use your tongue to place pressure on the underside, the frenulum, so like. The underside of the penis where it's your erect, you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. The point that's pointing down towards your balls. Yeah. That little area beneath the tip is the frenulum. It's your best friend. It feels really, really good when a woman sucks on it. So it, she could do that. I mean, I don't know if you're forcing her head in there or if she just thinks she has to, but clearly it's not her thing. And mm -hmm. if she's vomiting on you, just tell her <laughs> to like, like really, she could use her hand job, blow job combination. Those two sensations together. I mean, are you ever going to turn down like a blow with the hand? They use hands. Women use their hands, yeah. the balls, the whole thing. They need to. Though. They need to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want to have more pressure. So I think she should just like step away from the deep throat. Although if you do want tips and you're listening and you don't actually vomit, but you want to know more, the best thing is to just relax your throat and to breathe before you do it. And you relax your throat and you like let your tongue fall back and you just like take deep breaths and you can learn to relax it. But it sounds like that's just not her thing. Um, in this situation, you know better what feels good for you. So if you teach your partner how to please you, you know, maybe you guys can do mutual masturbation. She knows how you want to be touched, but no more gag reflex for her. And Tickle is Pickle is a great book for anyone who wants to learn mm -hmm. about the pickle. Sweet. More. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. A to V licking. All right. Hi. I'm 36 years old. I'm writing from Omaha, Nebraska. Is it safe for a man to lick my A and then my V? That would be anus and vagina for those of you who aren't. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just it. laughing because there's a song out right now. That Called A to V? Truffle no. Butter. Oh, Truffle Butter? No, well, not even that, dude. There's another one that says uh, eat the booty like grocery. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah. There's Nicki Minaj eat eat your ass like a cupcake also. Oh Got yeah. It. It's very popular right now. So trendy. Yeah. Just lost my <laughs> Not that I don't love sex, but right now. I in this think moment. you go ask the mouth all the time because you never uh denied that you didn't. What? Every I time I call you every time I bring it up. You should never go ask the mouth. <laughs> all right. That's it's bacteria, it's bad for you. You can't go ask okay. the mouth. Okay. You can go. <laughs> No. I don't know. It seems like... What do you mean? You only gave me oh, this do I vibe. ever just go to the mouth? Do I ever put my mouth on an ass? Yeah. Is that what you're yeah. asking me? Oh, I was thinking... Because yeah. we're talking about vaginas and asses. Yeah, yeah, but I'm just starting... No, I don't do that very... I, no, I don't. I actually, can I be honest? Can I be honest? <laughs> yeah. I don't. Okay. I don't. All right. And I should, and well, I will. Finally, I'll do you it made tonight. a statement about it. Because <laughs> every time I bring it up, you kind of give a giggle like... that. That is something going on in your daily life. I... <laughs> I probably should. <laughs> what, I should admit it or just do it? <laughs> Let's add it to our project list. Um, no, 
long have I done? I haven't done it that much, to be honest. Oh, see, you have done I have it, done, see? No, I mean, I can't remember the last time. All right. I'm just Here's saying. the point. See, okay. I knew it. Did I even you get through this email? <laughs> Jess, okay. She Here's wants the to know. Oh, no, I didn't even finish it because you fuck you. <laughs> Listen, no. she wants to know. The same question goes for me licking him and then going back to a blowjob. Mm-hmm. Is it risky for me? Can it transmit bacteria? Thanks for the great advice, Jess. Yeah. Yes, Jess. It can transmit bacteria. Anytime you go from anal to vagina mm-hmm. or anal to penis or mm-hmm. anal to friggin' your turkey sandwich, <laughs> it is yeah. a bad idea. Because <laughs> then you're eating bacteria with your mayo. The whole thing yeah. is not good, okay? Anal. And then you go to the bathroom. And you so wash what do you do about that? This is what you do. All right. If you go anal, then you go and you wash it off. Like mm-hmm. you don't, you don't go back and forth. You brush your mm-hmm. teeth. You wash your hands. You change the condom. If it's like you're having anal sex and you're going back to vaginal sex, so um, it's really important. So you and your partner should both be showered and totally clean down there before any mouth to anus action. Not okay. that I would know. All I right. do know. I'm kidding. I've done it. I just can't remember the last time. I'm super busy. No, I don't okay. need you to tell me the last time. Just that you've done it before. I need I the, I need need the like, new iOS 9 so I can start tracking, yeah, tracking, tracking the, my anal <laughs> activity. Is that, you haven't licked any anus recently. Do you my Is it going to text me and be like, anal activity? Yeah. You haven't had any anal activity in 14 days. I know. <laughs> But do you know what's also is crazy? My one of my old coworkers said that he had a ex girlfriend that was super into it. Like she wanted to do it all the time. There's some people. There's guys who are super into it. Everyone, yeah. everything's good, you guys. It's all normal. Yeah. It's all fine. We're just giggling because obviously it's funny, but we're not judging. No, you, you guys. Know. People freaking love yeah, it. Yeah, don't be funny. uptight saying that we're judging. No, about yeah, it. don't email anything give, angry. Everyone wants to be up, offended. I'm just telling you, I do it right. I know, right? Do people just get pissed? Oh my God, try being you on the air every day. Because you're also more offensive in nature. Well, yeah. And then <laughs> people just, <laughs> just like overanalyze everything. Jesus Christ. You think that like being offended is people's like full time jobs. I know, days. seriously. Well, they like, like have I some know. freaking fun. I know. All people, right. We, don't, we love you all. Can't you of tell? Of course. Okay. So here's the thing Jess, you mm. and your partner should both be showered. Like I said, be showered for any mouth to anus, any anus, anything. Please Even just do so- it in the shower. That's a great way to do it. Mm-hmm. Then you're instantly, you can wash it off. Yeah. Right. Um, it's not a good idea to switch from analingus to oral because bacteria. She's totally mm-hmm. right. So if you want to engage in backdoor play during oral, whether it's during a BJ or while it's going down mm-hmm. on you, you can explore using a finger or two. So don't mm-hmm. use your mouth and always, always, mm-hmm. always, always, always use lube and yeah. wash your hands. And these days with like sanitizer and all those wipes, like have some wipes by your bed. Like I have wipes by my bed. I have a lot of things by what my bed. What kind of wipes? I have like um like those well, I have like sex toy cleaners. I don't know. They're just regular wipes I got at the grocery store. Is your nightstand just full of dude my just stuff? <laughs> just like I was like lubes. I really the- I would love to ask my intern Lori here to come and clean up my sex toys, but I'm not going to because she'd have to wear surgical gloves and it's like yeah, really embarrassing. Has bad too. Here's the problem: there's probably and no joke in my bedroom 200 vibrators. And the problem is they're all recharged, and they're, but they're, they're tucked away. Oh, okay. Oh, dude, Your but the, electricity <laughs> bill must be but They're not the all chain. charged, but the problem is these vibrators these days, they don't come with like, this is a fun factory vibrator, uh-huh. this is a vibratex. So then you got to match the cords with the vi- I don't freaking uh-huh. know which goes with which. I didn't have yeah. a label maker out when I was masturbating, charging it. Mm-hmm. What I realized is the problem is, I'm going to get back to analingus in a minute, is yeah. that is it, in my house... Is not only not kid proof, it's not date proof. So I had this date come over a few weeks ago. And he slipped and I was like, on a dildo. Literally. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh my God, I forgot there was one charging in the bathroom. I mean, I need a full on hour to hide. I've got a wedge. Oh man. I, thank God the Sibian's not set up yet because yeah. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with that. Yeah. Like it's really like it's not date proof at all. Mm. It's a problem. I'll so, set up the Sibian, I promise. Will you? I swear. Okay, I awesome. And you and your girlfriend can come use I it. I just want to see what it looks like. <laughs> it's awesome. I mean it's got yeah. five hundred heads to it and you guys are gonna die. We're gonna do some videos on it. All right. <laughs> okay. So um anyway, backdoor play. Here's the deal. The lining of your anal acti- activity is very thin and so it does not provide enough lubrication. That's why I'm always saying whenever you are having anal sex, even if you're using your fingers, you want to use lube, not your saliva. So all that mm-hmm. spitting you see in porn and stuff, that's mm-hmm. also bacteria. That's not safe. So yeah. nothing should go near your back door, toys, fingers, penis. Uh, anything should go back there and then in your vagina, on your vagina, any of that. So keep wipes, all that stuff, very bad, like I do. I can never find them though because they're buried under toys. Um, all right. 
We've got All some right. more sex. We've got some more things about oral sex. Are we good here? People? Yeah, a few minutes. We're having a good time here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Dear Emily, I love the show. Okay, here's a sitch. I love performing oral sex on my lady friends. Here's the caveat. My orgasms are not as intense without it. And I recently started sleeping with someone who insists that I gargle after going down on her. And it completely takes me out of the mood. I'm not opposed to the taste. She really is clean. So why must I gargle after? Is so that she, a thing to do? So he goes down on her... And, and she's she like, don't make out with say, me. Wow. Right? You we, never hear about I that. I know. You always hear the guy who's yeah, like, like, you just uh, swallowed my jizz? Go brush your teeth. Uh, no. <laughs> Some guys do that. Yeah. And it's offensive. Which is weird. But it's whatever. It's, it's, it's not offensive. It's your own just, jizz. It's not like some other guys, you know? Yeah. Because that would be really weird. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so you should just, you know, so why sh- must I gargle after? Is that mm. a thing to do? Ask, ask, um, going downtown now to go and rinse my, is that a thing to go downtown and then rinse my mouth? Mm-hmm. Should I suck it up and mentally get back into the game? Like it's pissing him off. Okay. He's like, I just gave you an orgasm and now you want me to go to the bathroom and get out of the mood and gargle. Uh-huh. Um, but it's, I guess it's not unusual because women are always self-conscious and men about their penis and about their taste of how they taste down there. I think for men, they're thinking like not even just like, I think for women, they're like, I, I think it's the same thing. They think that they're not going to taste good. Like, like, thank you for going down there, but I don't want anything to do with it. Um, for their hygiene because we're always wondering if we're clean or not and I have to admit that there have been guys I've been with who it's been a while since the guys have been like don't kiss me but I also don't try to for- I'm not like, oh, like trying to like make out with them right after I swallow their semen um, but I, I do understand this and obviously he's probably one of these guys who's okay with her kissing him after fellatio but if it's a deal breaker I would bring it up or just why doesn't he just put some of those breath strips by your bed mm-hmm. instead of having to get out of bed yeah or just keep some mouthwash by the bed poured into a cup i mean the thing is i don't think this should trip him out as much as it i mean i think we can put it into this i think that you could like split the difference if it freaks her out and you still want to make out like put a breath strip in your mouth or like drink some water because for me like after if i let's say i swallow i'll drink some water and then mm-hmm. you know it's all good like we're all fine like you're not gonna get sick from it but he's offended and it takes him out of the mood has this ever happened to you with a girl no, that's just weird. No, I think I th- I always hear that with guys, though. You know, but why is it? Why are guys so freaked out and girls typically aren't? I don't know because guys are weird too. It's hard to understand things like. I that. think guys are like, I want to taste my jets, mm, or maybe and then I called Uber. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Well, maybe also like uh, maybe she had a bad past experience. You know, something with her own, happened. Yeah, maybe yeah, she had a bacterial she, vaginosis or something and someone down on her. Some yeast infection like or <laughs> I don't yeah. know. I don't know. All it takes is really one guy to be like, that, like you're disgusting down there or like mm. things are not so fresh yeah. and it just, you're It'll done ruin for a girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're rev- you, you are finished for life. It's true. Mm. Or some guy tells you you got a small mm. penis in the locker room at a mm. young age. I mean, if anyone insults your genitalia across the board, it will stick with you for life. So oh that God. could be it as well. So Sean, nothing wrong with talking to her and saying, you know, is that Sean, right? Like, mm. I think you, Jason. Yeah, Sean? to say, hey, do I, <laughs> do I really need to go do that right now? Right. Like, I think it tastes great. It tastes like flowers. Sean, I also find it kind of weird that you're even... (laughs) Jason. Jason? It's Jason? Yeah, whatever. I thought you just said Sean. I did. It was a mistake. A couple ones ago. I corrected it. (laughs) My bad. Jason. Uh, I do find it kind of weird. Like, you're getting laid. Who cares? You're a guy. You know what I'm saying? I know, but he's sensitive about it. Guys don't really care or sensitive or care about this kind of stuff. No. So, know. Um, I you know, that. if that's just something like something she had a bad experience in the past and that's what she really wants to do to get through it. You know what? You're still getting laid. There's a billion guys out there not getting laid. I know. And that it would be happy to fucking go Dude, and do some mouthwash. Like they would the, you know? they'd go, they'd go to the yeah. grocery store would, and buy you yeah. dinner. They would make walk it. 50 miles to their house, to the chick's house, you no know? No joke, like, man. Who cares? But uh, yeah, at least talk to her at least once and. If she says that's what she likes, then just stick with it. Stick There's with a it. lot worse things that she would make you do. Exactly. You know? um, thank you, Menace. All right. It's been a wonderful show. And thank it you, has. everyone, for listening. Here's the dealio. Um, uh, you should come find me. If you want more going down tips, you should join me at the Hustler Workshop. And if you're not in Los Angeles, it's, uh, what is it, June 23rd, Tuesday. Yeah. Um, but – we're going to be doing this around the country. So if you live anywhere that you would like me to come speak, people have been emailing me about this lately, and you can arrange it and somehow find a way to pay for it. No, we can figure out a way to make it happen. I would love to come and start speaking with you all everywhere. But Or come out to LA and say hi. Um, thank you so much, Madison. 
producing Met for the show. And thank you to Lori, my intern. Thank you, Menace, as always, for being here out of your busy day, your schedule. I know you're super famous and on billboards <laughs> no, and stuff. No, 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 But I love it. And I love thank you, you, honey, so much. And also, yeah, review us on iTunes, like we said. We love that. And um, one more thing. One more thing. I'm going to ask you one more thing before I go. Follow oh, this is three. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, at Sex with Emily. I love you all. Was it good for you? Email me. Feedback at sexwithemily.com. 